So in short, there are so, so many ways that you can reduce your global footprint. And if we all do our part, together we can make a change. And there is this cool tote in it for whoever wins the office contest. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, yeah, um, I just had some thoughts. Mm -hmm. Doesn't your initiative set up a giant false equivalency? Framing our planet's degradation as a matter of individual responsibility completely ignores the role that corporate pollution plays in the death spiral we're currently locked in. You know what I'm saying? I mean, me having a steak once a week, there's no way that offsets the fact that our company destroys acres of rainforest in the third world every day just to cultivate palm oil and the resulting pollutants comprises like 11% of our global carbon emission. Did you know that? I bet you didn't. You know what, if we all disappeared today, you know who would stand up and applaud? Literally every single organism on the planet except for maybe like our gut biome and a couple of domestic cats. But otherwise, I think that we need to recognize that your cute little tote with the little globe that's smiling on it. Yeah, this is also by the way insidious marketing and it's gonna end up in a landfill. It does nothing to remove the curses that our grand children are going to place on our heads for allowing this apocalypse to happen. It's signed by Mark Ruffalo. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, Mark Ruffalo. Did you meet him? I did. He is so adorable and he's just little, so you know, smaller global footprint. Just crazy. I'm totally going to win that. Oh, you go, Karen. Yeah. I'm going to frame it and I'm going to wear it. So fuck all y'all. Okay. Okay. That's some language. Remember these words. That was Karen, everybody. She's fiery.